You 
can never say this is the end. Yes. Satan might tell you this is the end. Yes. Because you want to create fear in you. Everything around you will tell you it's over. But let me come here to tell you it is not over yet. But the God says it's over. Shout hallelujah. Being content is the knowing of God. Yes. We dealt with that last week. But this one, I want to quickly look at something. The error in partial disobedience. The error in partial disobedience. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We talk about being content is in obeying God. Another way you can be contented is to obey God in totality. Say totality. Totality. Oh, you get that? I said, it's to obey God in what? Totality. Hundred percent. Not ninety-nine point nine. Ninety-nine point nine obedience is zero obedience. Yes. Oh, you get that? Oh yeah. Man. I need to start speaking Swahili now. <laughs> if the Holy Spirit lets you go, go ahead. Go ahead. Shout out to Lord. Hallelujah. I said ninety-nine point nine obedience to the things of God is zero obedience. Amen. Yes. In other words, it's not I have done, I have tried. No, it is do all. All that is expected of you, based on the word of God, do all. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There's are so many fail. After you have tried and done everything, you do more than average, you do better than others, you need to still fall short. Everything about God has principles. Yes. Maybe you don't understand that. Everything about God comes with principles. Mm-hmm. Is that you obey and you get the result, or you disobey or obey partially and still fall short? Amen. Nothing about God comes with accident. Mm-hmm. Nothing about God is trial and error. Nothing about God is. Let me just see. Now everything about God follows principles. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's the way God works. If you like, you can call it rigid. There's nothing about flexibility, you know. Maybe if I do it this way, maybe I just do this one. God understands. Yet yeah, God understands that it tells you what to do. God understand that he said if you want to prosper, do this and that. Yeah. Pay your tithe, give your offering, give to the poor. Say those that give to the poor, they shall not lack. If you want to be well, remember that he paid the price for you in the cross of Calvary. Begin to do what? Bring that upon your life. That Jesus life on that cross, that you don't have to bleed. There are principles and precepts when it comes to the things of God. 100% obedient yes. is demanded yes. from the child of God. Yes. Yes. I didn't come here to preach about that enough. If you look at the book of Genesis quickly, Noah, Noah, do you remember Noah? Yes. It was after Noah sacrificed. He picked some animals from the ark and sacrificed to God. That God spoke. Mm-hmm. What did God speak? He made a covenant. Mm-hmm. And so long as this egg remained, harvest time, sowing time will never cease. Yes. After the sacrifice, there are principles about the things of God. It was a draw near to me, I would draw near to you. How do you draw near to God? In holiness. Yes. In living a sin free life. Now, principles about the things of God. 100% obedience or no obedience. We talk about going to church, we talk about prayer here in the church of God. We go, oh, I'm so tired today. Is that the way you obey God? When I speak as a senior pastor in this church, I represent God. Yes. You might not like my face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> not many people like the face of God anyway. Yeah. But what I decree in this church is that if I say fasting, you don't obey, but for circumstances that you cannot control, you have disobeyed against God. Yes. <laughs> I repeat right now. 
<laughs> That's the truth. Let me not lie to you. Unless circumstances that you cannot control. Maybe you have to be at work or something. Or maybe God forbid you are sick and you cannot make it. But any other excuse is disobedience to the word of God. Because I represent God in this church. You want to be blessed? You think blessing just come by doing a little bit you can? It comes with sacrifice. Amen. You come to work and come back in the morning, you are so tired, and you go to church. That is sacrifice. Don't you understand? What I'm telling you is what I do. I don't tell you what I don't do. <coughs> because I have been there. My wife here can testify. She used to do 12 hours. 6 to 6. 7 to 7. 7B to 7A. Standing on her feet throughout 12 hours. When she came back around 8.30 a.m. in the morning, we are going to church. I don't care how tired you are. Church! And that church, they will stay till around 2 p.m. 2.30. And yet, that Sunday is going to work again. I tell her, God is my strength. We are going what? Church! <coughs> Don't you know that is sacrifice? You think it's easy to come back from work 12 hours and the next minute you are going to church and that church will stay till 2 p.m. and by 7 p.m. that day you are still going to church uh, and need to work? It is a sacrifice that places God. Jesus. Don't think that the work of God is easy. Who tells you the work of God is easy? That you will not sacrifice something to for God. Look, Noah had to sacrifice before God could make a covenant. I don't want to start talking about sacrifice. Because the power is sacrifice. I'm talking about 100% obedience. When you know you are God, you will do this but How do you know God? You have to obey God to know God. Amen. Why would things about God be a frustration to us? Some of us, we reluctantly, we angrily obey God. Look, obedience that you do in anger is disobedience. Now, already we have seen the of God. In anger. You know, this person said this. In this church, this past one, you have heard a lot of. This one said this. This one said that. If I depend on human being, you miss your purpose. Mm -hmm. Because human being will not take you to the presence of God. Amen. You might not like the message of today, but the truth has to be spoken. Thank you, Lord. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I don't speak the truth, God holds me responsible. That's why I'm here. Amen. What do you do? It's all the personal obedience. When you know you have obeyed God, what happened? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you where you read it. Quickly, say something here. Every situation in life is going to demand a response. I want to continue this message by the grace of God. Every situation will demand a response. What's the meaning? Every response will determine if you succeed or fail. You may respond out of panic, out of fear, out of frustration, even out of what? Anger. Any response that is not born out of complete obedience to God <coughs> will test and destroy the pressure of God. <coughs> Mark those words. Any response that is not based out of 100% obedience to the will of God will test and destroy the position of God. Yes. When we have done all, when we have obeyed God fully, you see, when, when you, if you know, you see, it is born out of the fact that you, you know that you don't do all. That when the situation comes, you respond in panic, in anger, in frustration. <coughs> because you know we have not done all that is expected of you. Shout hallelujah. That was why Adam and Eve ran to hide. When God came. If they had done all they were expected to do, would they run and hide? No. Mm -hmm. Because they knew, they knew. They ran 
to hurt you. God said, what are you saying? I'll hurt you and I'll run. Because you know you disobeyed God. Yeah. Shout out to But when you are doing it out of 100% obedience, you thank God in the face and say, I have done what you asked me to do. Amen. Where did I go wrong? Amen. When situation comes your way and they will come, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't make no mistake about that. Situation will come their way yeah. as a child of God. Yeah. When situation comes their way, you remind God of His promises. Mm. Father, did you not say, if I do this and this, this is what will happen? Yes. I have done it. Yes. Did you not say, When crashes, when the devil brought so much crash upon my life this year, over my business, the fact that we still eat today with my wife is because I stood God in the face and tell him, did I not do what you asked me to do? Jesus. I told God, this church did I not pay my tax. Did I disobey you? Why was it time to take my business? <clears throat> I can stand today firmly to tell you boldly, God stopped it down. Amen. Hallelujah. For our sake. That's why today you still see me shining like this. <laughs> some people outside that knew me and knew what I went through, and some people are asking now, what is going on? I still I saw Jerry driving. I thought they said his business went. <laughs> If you don't know the God that I serve, Amen. I serve a God that I serve by fire. The one that makes it away where there seems to be no way. The one that stopped the enemy back. Oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. If I can tell you my story, and I tell you what complete obedience means, eh, you understand eh, that when troubles come, you stand God in the face and tell him I turn up. Yes. Where did I go wrong? Yes, Lord. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Error in partial obedience. When you obey God in totality, a contender person is the one that obeys God in every ramification. Yes. That means he or she has responded to a situation in life based on the complete obedience to the principles and precepts of God. Amen. Look at something in Ephesians chapter 4, as I want to run up now. He said, Wherefore, take unto you, Ephesians chapter 6, rather than verse 18. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. We heard about this, right? Yes. But that's not where I'm going. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. He said, And having done all, mm -hmm. say, done all. Done all. Say, having done all. Having done all. Talk to your neighbor, say, having done all. Having done all. Stand. 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 Do you hear the Bible say I've been done some? Oh. Do you hear the Bible say I've been done a little? No. Oh. Is I have been done? Oh. oh. You know what? Even though you have done all, situation will still come. Yes. That's what it means. Amen. It doesn't mean that because you have done all, things will not happen. No, 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 no. Things will still go wrong. Yeah. Satan is an accuser of Satan will bring obstacles. Yeah. Having done all, the constancy will arise that will task your faith in God. Having done all, the enemy will come to test you. Yeah. Having done all, the people will even ask you where is your God. Having done all, yeah. the enemy will taunt you. Yes. But the Bible says, what? Stand. Yeah. Oh, stand. Yeah. 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 You cannot stand yeah. if you have not done all. Right. If you know what it means to do all, and if you have done all, believe me, in the face of provocation, in the face of accusation, in the face of persecution, you will stand. Amen. Amen. You will stand. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will start waiting upon the Lord. You will start trusting in the Lord. You will start believing God that He that has spoken is also faithful to do it. You will start trusting God that is ever faithful. He's ever faithful. Amen. He's ever faithful. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that have done all will stand in the face of adversity. Mm -hmm. That's why it doesn't mean that. Some people say, when I'm done, 
Why am I still going through stuff? Yes. As a child of God, stuff will come. Yes. It doesn't mean because I've done all stuff will not come. No. But it means that you'll be able to tell God I've done all. Yes. Come and rescue me. Hallelujah. I've done all. Yes. Fight for me. Yes. I've done all. Yes. Put the enemy to shame. Yes. I have done all. Yes. Honor your words. Yes. Father, did you not say if I give to the poor, I will not lack? Mm -hmm. I have given to the poor. Yes. Why am I lacking? Yes. Bring away the lack. Do you not say yes. if I bring my love into a church? Ah, you will, uh, uh, you will fill my storehouse. Yes. Why uh, is my storehouse not being filled? Yes. Break away the lack. Yes. Break away the poverty. Yes. I have done all. Yes. Do you not say, if I draw closer to you, you will draw close to me. Yes. Why is it that I think you are far away? Come closer to me and rescue me. I have done all. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I have done all. Thank you, Jesus. That's what the Lord expects from us. As a church, Individually. How many sisters or brothers in this church do you encourage? If they are, if they feel discouraged for whatever reason, maybe what somebody tells them, maybe what they observe, maybe some, maybe the enemy bring discouragement. Do you encourage them as a child of God? Jesus. What role do you play to build the house of God? What have you done? How many souls have you preached to, to bring to the house of God? Do you join the enemy to discourage members? Do you join them to sell bad things? What have you done for God? Thank you, Lord. Having done all. Stand. Stand. Yes, Lord. Having done all, come with sacrifice. You will pay a price. Amen. For doing the work of God, people will laugh at you. Oh, yes. Somebody asked me something. I used to know you differently before. But despite what is going on, I still see you being friendly. You don't get angry. I told the person I would learn from my experience. Yes. I'm mature in this world. Amen. And I overlook many things that most yes. of people do to me. Yes. Why? Because I want to do all. I strive to do all. Amen. So that I can have justification to tell God. Check me out. Have I not done it? Have I not done it? Why am I going through this? And you see God begin to move for something. Amen. What did we want to do? Because you know what you have done in that next stop. And that set the boundary here. You can't go beyond this. Yes, he has done all. Yes. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say he has done all. He has he has done done all. all. Say God set the boundary. God set the boundary. God set the boundary. God set the boundary. He gave my enemies. Against my enemy. I say, stand on the feet. Say, God set the boundary. God set the boundary. Father 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 set the bo